Hello, welcome back to another video. A few days ago, Stepford County Railway released its version 1.8 update, the ninth major update in the game's history. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a quick overview and review of most of the noticeable changes of this update. There are quite a lot of patch notes as you can see here, so I'll do my best to cover what I can quickly. So with that, let's begin with the upgraded stations. I'll be doing this in an alphabetical list of stations that have had major changes in this update. Let's start with Cambridge Street Parkway. Dubbed as the worst station in SCR before this, it has a really nice entrance and some decent platforms, plus a nice nod off to Oasis on this side. Not much of a fan of this motorway to the side though. Whilst Connolly hasn't had a station upgrade, its scenery has been redone to make it seem much more like a lively village. What I like about it is that it now reaches the River Ben. At long last, Ellesmere Junction wasn't ignored, as it wasn't redone in 1.7 along with the other Morgan's Town branch stations. The sneak peek made it look worse than it actually is, and I think they've done an excellent job with this boxy and industrial look. Financial Quarter has been made to look a little more like a DLR station, here's Westbury for example, and it's far less like a box than it used to be, and very bright as well. Orton Rake hasn't really had a station upgrade, though a nice tunnel at the end as well as hills on either side have been added. Not much of a fan of these copy and paste houses though. We all love the old Leighton City, the new one, based off East Croydon, has a very good resemblance at platform level, although sadly they skipped out the real life main entrance at East Croydon with the tram stop. Interestingly, this is now the predominant station over Leighton Stepford Road, explaining why they've added so many platforms. Continuing with the Leighton area, Leighton Stepford Road has a really nice upgrade to resemble Haymarket in Edinburgh. A lot of people say the entrance looks a bit bland, but I personally like the modern aesthetic of it, plus the platforms are nicely detailed with express branding. They also added a new triangular branch to Leighton West, originating from City and Edgemead, with four separate routes all serving the station. With a reference to Squad Fan 9000 as a predominant soup in the community, this Colchester town based station has a really nice charm to it especially with the abandoned disuse platform, giving the station a background and story. Uh, 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 okay, I'll start with those references. Millcastle Racecourse has had a small facelift, which to be honest only really adds curved platforms, and I'm not much of a fan of it in all honesty. Morganstown Docks was basically just moved up with a couple of its platforms removed, and while it is definitely an improvement, I feel like they could have spent more time on things such as the entrance and scenery. Its neighbour, Port Benton, has also received quite a nice facelift, and whilst it doesn't stand out from the crowd much in my opinion, I really like the addition of the siding and the small trees between the platforms. Back to the Leighton area, Rocket Parade has been upgraded, retaining its city-like feel in a trench. No, it, it's not James Street. In my opinion, I quite like its cramped feel to it, with an okay entrance. The one issue is the fact that Connect, Express and Air Link all have to share two tracks, which isn't ideal. Charlie claims that Stepford East only had a facelift, which is true in practice, but in my opinion it's amazingly detailed and it definitely resembles London Bridge in real life. The entrance, ticket hall, platforms and even the non-updated scenery work hand in hand to create this really nice new upgrade. Stepford UFC more or less had a huge capacity upgrade, with a training ground. Interestingly, they actually moved the stadium to the other side. It's alright in my opinion, and although it isn't what I'd call the best station of the new area, it has to be an improvement from its past build. Wester Coast just has a new station building, with a little bit of scenery moved around. Whilst I'm not the biggest fan of the building itself, it's better than the old platforms without any form of station building. Whitefield has received a complete overhaul as well. The sign at the front looks a little odd, though I really love what they've done with the platforms and the surroundings with this siding with the static train parked on it, giving that a bit of extra character. Its sister station, Whitefield Lido, now actually has a Lido at long last. Ignoring that, they've actually done a really good job with this station. The entrance to the raised platforms are quite good, with lively scenery and some characteristic platforms, another one of my favourite upgrades. And finally, Charlie's own Woodhead Lane now has some staggered platforms. Whilst I think the scenery could do with a little less copying and pasting trees, I really like the rural feel of this station, as if there's a road somewhere that connects a few villages to the railway. 
With the station upgrades all done, I'll move along Bantex patch notes and talk about the new depots. First of all you have Stepford Depot, which is a massive improvement from the box that it used to be, with multiple sidings and a really nice shed. There are also supervisor offices here, Squad kinda recorded himself going into these new offices. Leighton Depot was also improved, and not only does it look much better and fit into its surroundings, but they also moved it so it faces Lynn rather than Stepford. I like the location, however I feel like it could have been better if it were bi-directional. Speaking of bi-directional depots, Woodhead Lane's depot has been redone, with mostly open-air spawning spaces compared to what existed beforehand. I feel like it fits the depot aesthetic I would expect, much more of an open-air environment, with multiple tracks and spurs, which has been achieved nicely. Similarly, Whitefield has also gained some sidings as a substitute for the siding being removed at Whitefield Lido. The industrial feel of it is highly enjoyable, especially with the train cleaners inside. The Class 720 and 730 were also remodelled to mesh trains in this update, made by a missed transport guy or Let's Gaming YT. These are a massive improvement from their previous counterparts, which could barely load in on my Pentato computer, with a decent interior, nicely improved cab models, and some satisfying smooth curves. There is also a new train, the Class 444, which runs on Southwestern Railway in real life. I feel like the front of this train could have been made to look less animated and more detailed, although the cab is absolutely excellent, and the interior of the train is okay as well. Next up, Stepford County Railway has invested in some new platform announcements, and some new onboard announcements for Waterline, Air Link and Express. Let's listen. Stepford Connect, service to Stepford Victoria. Calling at Whitefield Lido, High Street, Stepford East, Stepford Central, City Hospital, Financial Quarter, and Stepford Victoria. This train is formed of five coaches. Welcome on board this waterline service to Connolly. Calling at Cambridge Street Parkway, Ashland Park and Connolly. Welcome on board this Stepford Express service to Lynn by the Sea. We will call at Leighton City, Edgemead, West Wyvern, North Shore and Lynn by the Sea. The next station will be Leighton City. These are some very nice announcements in my opinion. A definite change from the text-to-speech variants, and better than the repetition of the Connect Lady everywhere. I feel like all of them sound quite good, the Express and Airlink announcer in particular. However, I feel like they talk quite slowly, so maybe the gaps between stations should be sped up a little. I also really like the proximity of the station announcements, rather than it just being in a specific area, as it adds to the immersion. Though, I'm not much of a fan of the announcements being muffled on board. And finally, I'm going to show you a time lapse of myself driving on the new Whitefield line, and I'll commentate on what I think of the updated scenery. It starts from High Street, where you immediately notice the new overhead line equipment, which looks amazing. This is followed by some basic bushes, better than most of Waterline even if it is just copy and paste of greenery. We then come into Whitefield Lido, with a nice town-like feel, with a pool and multiple shops and buildings in the area. From there, we go down a ramp into a crossrail inspired tunnel section of indented track, followed by a tunnel portal, and I really think the buildings around here fit the area. Stepford UFC, a nice open station for the football fans, has quite an industrial but towny at the same time feel to it. This is followed by the busy Woodhead Lane Depot. You then leave Stepford and go into the countryside, which looks far better compared to some areas such as Hemden Park, especially since there's more variation. Woodhead Lane Station is next, with a few sheds and buildings surrounding a road, but nothing much else. You soon arrive at a tunnel portal, which comes out at Horton Rake, which seems to be indented in a hill with a few small houses around the area. This is followed by some generic bushes, then it transitions into the humble village of Whitefield with the new sidings, with the train terminating in the new station build. Other than some new things such as new Turbo Star and Fishbowl sounds, some new platform assets, and prompt-based seating, that's just about everything cosmetic you can notice in the update, and so that concludes my review. 
The build quality of 1.8 is quite advanced compared to 1.7, and although the update doesn't have much of a major theme other than the station upgrade update, this was a much needed update, and it was executed really well by the developers, especially with 402 days since 1.7. That's the end of the video, if you enjoyed leave a like, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.